Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Lipke here. Today we're going to talk about measuring the perimeter and the area of rectangles. Measuring perimeter and area of rectangles. The perimeter is the sum of all the sides. What does the sum mean? That's when we add up everything and get an answer. So if we look here, we've got perimeter equals the sum of all the sides. Now, this is our first little expedition into formulas. The formula that we use when we're writing perimeter is simply a large P, uppercase, equals S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus S4. Okay? It's important that we use, we make sure we keep track of where are we putting in uppercase letters and where we're putting in lowercase letters because as you move along in math and science, letters become super important in equations. Okay? Area equals the length times the width of the rectangle. Now, when we write area, the formula for area is a big A, uppercase, equals a lowercase l times a lowercase w. Now, I've written my lowercase l using like a mini cursive handwriting, if you will, because if you just put a lowercase l as a line, you could confuse it as a one. And we know that math is confusing enough already without throwing in the letters. Remember when we did variables, we also had to use different letters to represent the numbers. Let's look at the perimeter formula in action. Perimeter equals the sum of all sides. So that means side one plus side two plus side three plus side four. So for this rectangle, our length is eight and our width is one, or one side length is eight and one side length is one. So what I'm going to write out over here, P equals S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus S4. So what that works out to be is P equals 8 plus 8 plus 1 plus 1. So 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17, plus 1 is 18. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 18 centimeters. Now, a good way to think about perimeter is to think about walking around the outside of a shape. You have to walk around the perimeter of the shape to get the whole distance around. The perimeter is the distance that you would walk around the outside of a shape. I walk eight centimeters plus one is nine plus eight is 17 plus one is 18, okay? So you can see that I've walked the outside of this shape and my perimeter is 18. Let's look at the area calculation for this rectangle. Area is the amount of space that the shape takes up. You could also think of it as the amount of space inside the fence. If I built a rectangular garden or a field of any kind, the amount of space that I have inside the fence is its area. Our area formula is area equals length times width, or big A equals small l times small w. Now, the length of this rectangle is 8 centimeters, and its width is 1. We could say that the length is 1 and the width is 8. It doesn't really matter. Let's plug those numbers into our formula and see what happens. So A equals 8 times 1. 8 centimeters times 1 centimeter. When I do 8 times 1, I get 8. Now, units are very important when it comes to measurement. When we're multiplying two centimeter measurements together, we actually have to think about the centimeter units themselves. If I multiply centimeters times centimeters, I've actually now got two centimeters, okay? 
or two times two centimeters. So what happens is I've got eight centimeters squared. You may rec or may not recognize this two up here. You're thinking, why does he have that little itty bitty two? Well, when we're reporting the units of area, it's actually centimeters squared, okay? That's something you definitely have to remember. If you remember the math by being centimeters times centimeters, you have to know that you put that two up there. The one over here for perimeter, we don't put because it's adding up, okay? We're just adding the centimeters. But this one, the multiplication changes everything. So when I have eight times one, eight centimeters times one centimeter, I get eight centimeters squared. Rectangles that have the same perimeter can have different areas. Let's look at how that works out with these other rectangles that we have here. For this rectangle here, we have a length of seven centimeters and a width of two centimeters, okay? So let's use our perimeter formula, which is side one plus side two plus side three plus side four to figure out if it's the same as the one we have here. Well, let's go. Seven centimeters plus two is nine, plus seven is 16, plus two is 18. So this rectangle here, even though it looks different than this rectangle, has the same perimeter. Now that we've calculated the perimeter for this one, let's have a look and see what the area is. We can already see that the shape of these two rectangles is completely different, okay? So let's have a look and our formula, A equals length times width, and plug in those numbers. A equals seven times two, seven centimeters times two centimeters. 7 times 2 is 14. So I'm going to write 14. And we just talked about the fact that if I times centimeters and centimeters together, I'm going to get centimeters squared. So the area for this rectangle is 14 centimeters squared. Let's look at another example. This rectangle has a length of 6 centimeters and a width of three centimeters. So let's check on the perimeter first. That's the distance around the outside. Six plus three is nine. Plus six is 15, plus three is 18. So our perimeter is 18 as well. This rectangle, this rectangle, and this rectangle all have the same perimeter, but they look totally different. Now, let's go back and look at our area calculation. Remember, A equals length times width. So for this case, I've got A equals L times W, which equals six times three. Now, six times three is 18. But remember, I'm doing centimeters times centimeters as well. So my area for this rectangle is 18 centimeters squared. Let's have one more example. In this rectangle, my length is 5 centimeters and my width is 4 centimeters. Let's do the perimeter calculation first. That's the sum of all the sides or the distance around the shape. 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 5 is 14, plus another 4 is 18. So the perimeter of this rectangle is also 18 centimeters. Let's look at the area calculation. Area equals length times width. The area is the amount of space that if I took this thing down and put it on the ground, it would cover. Five times four. Five centimeters times four centimeters. Five times four is 20. Centimeters times tw centimeters gives us the square. That's what you would get if you were to look at all of the rectangles that have the same perimeter of 18. There's no other examples that we could add up and still get the perimeter of 18. So if a question asks you, draw all of the rectangles that have the same perimeter, this is essentially what you're doing. You've got to find the smallest one. 
That's the one that has the one centimeter width or length, up to you. And then essentially what you do is you drop one and add one. Notice this one became seven and two instead of eight and one. Okay, I'm gonna go up again and down again, six and three, and now five and four, okay? So if you're gonna draw all of the rectangles that have the same perimeter, you first have to find the one that has that one centimeter line, okay? All right, the other types of questions that you could be asked in this section would be draw all rectangles with the same area. So what is our area again? Our area is the amount of space that is taken up by a shape. If you were to take it, think about the area of your house. You take your house and you put it on the ground, the area that it covers, the area that you can be inside your house, that's the area that we're talking about. The area inside of the fence or the area inside the walls, or in this case, the area inside the lines. Now, I've drawn two different rectangles here. I know this one is a square, but we consider that one a rectangle for our purposes in terms of how we do area with the, or, the, or shapes the same area. So let's look at this one first. What is our area for me? Area equals length times width. The length of this rectangle is nine centimeters and the width is one. So over here, I've written area equals length times width. That equals nine centimeters times one centimeter. Now, remember, when we times centimeters by centimeters, our answer comes out to be a centimeter squared units. The units for area is centimeter squared. So the area of this rectangle is nine centimeters squared, okay? Just like with rectangles that have the same perimeter and different areas, we've got rectangles that have the same area and different perimeter. So let's take some more practice and do some perimeter calculations for this one. What's the perimeter formula again? Yeah, you got it. Side one plus side two plus side three plus side four. Okay, so we're gonna add up all the sides. We're gonna imagine ourselves walking around the outside of the shape. So if I walk down this side, I'm a little small person, by the way, because I'm walking centimeters instead of regular size steps. Nine centimeters plus one centimeter is 10 centimeters. Plus nine centimeters is 19 centimeters. Plus one centimeter is 20 centimeters. That's a pretty big long walk for a little small me walking around this thing. 20 centimeters around the outside. So just like I wrote over here, nine centimeters plus nine centimeters plus one centimeter plus one centimeter equals 20 centimeters. I know the light shining in there is distracting and you probably can't see what I've actually written there, but trust me, it says nine centimeters plus nine centimeters plus one centimeter plus one centimeter, and that equals 20 centimeters. Let's look at this shape and see why the area is the same. Area formula, A equals length times width. A equals length times width. The length and width of this shape are both the same because it's a square. Three centimeters times three centimeters gives us nine centimeters squared. Just, just like the other shape. So in this situation, these are the only two shapes that I can draw that have the same area, okay? Nine centimeters. Let's look at the perimeter of this one, then I'll talk a little bit about why these are the only two shapes that we can draw. The perimeter of this is the sum of all the sides, walking around three plus three is six, okay, plus three is nine, plus three is 12, okay? Or we can have four times three is 12. So again, we see same area, different perimeter. When we wanna draw all of the rectangles that have the same area, we first wanna start with, again, the nine times one, or whatever it is. If I have to draw all the rectangles that have uh, area, uh, let's say 16, one of the rectangles that I'm gonna draw is 16 times one, because that area, 16 times one, gives me the area of 16 centimeters squared. Now, you're going to hear this again. You've heard it a lot. Basic facts are so 
important, okay? Because it's gonna help you a lot with drawing rectangles that have the same area. If I need to draw all the rectangles that have an area of 16 centimeters squared, I need to know what numbers multiply together to get 16 centimeters squared. Well, like I said, 16 times one, anything times itself is always gonna be one of your rectangles, okay? The next one, what else could it be? What times what is 16? Oh, I know, eight times two is 16. You could also get four times four is 16, okay? So in that case, I would have three different rectangles that have the same area of 16 centimeters squared. Let's review. What we learned today are measuring perimeter and area of rectangles. The perimeter of the rectangle is the distance around the outside. If I was to go on a little hike, a little walk around the outside of a rectangular field or a square field, the perimeter that I walked would be the distance around the outside, okay? The area of a shape is how much space the shape takes up, okay? In this situation, we've got two rectangles that have the same area. They look totally different, but they technically take up the same amount of area, same amount of space, the same amount of space inside. Now, this one might be better for a patio than this one, but they still take up the same space. Great job today, guys.